You know what makes it a real good game? Artifact Anvil. I do love me a good artifact to start off the game. Alright, we got Artifact Anvil. I've been choosened. Let's make it a good game. Looks like they're keeping the tier list up to date on TFT Academy. Which is good. Very, very up to date. Like, I know that I'm... I know that I need to... I know that I want to play just for fun all the time, but... Alright, so there is a way that I can go Kog'Maw. There is certainly a way I can go Kog'Maw. I think that if I get Mana Zane, I think that Mana Zane is really good for him. Too much candy is really good for him. Uh, we could do... Yeah, just like blue buff Nasher's Gunblade, really. That's weird. Well, we have another Behemoth, so we can play that. Hopefully we can we can hit a Nico. If we can hit a Nico, then we should be good. Realistically, like we could play uh, we could play Jewel Gauntlet too. Like Jewel Gauntlet's not bad. Alright, what am I doing here? So Malphite is Longshot. Now, is Longshot good for Kogma? See, that's the thing. I don't really know. I don't think... I mean, I know that Sniper's Focus is pretty good on him. Right? Sniper's Focus is good on him. But I don't know if it's worth it. Because it takes a long time to hit this. I mean, between all these, I, I think it has to be Longshot if I'm going to be going for him. It also gives me 2-star. We could try it. We could try it. We get Mana Zane, we get Sniper's Focus soon. Yeah. Or we could do Anima Visage here. Let's do Mana Zane. Let's do Mana Zane. Probably could have done Anima Visage. Where have I been? What do you mean? I've been streaming more than ever. Like, Kog'Maw kind of wipes the entire thing. Kind of wipes the entire board with, with his Mana Zane. Maybe the right play was Anima Visage. Maybe I should have done that instead. But every other cast, he gets more range, which means that he can... You know? I mean, it seems pretty good to me. Seems pretty good. We just need another Mythic. Maybe you just not paid attention then? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So here's so here's the play. I mean, we can't get Exalted in, but we do want to get this guy in instead of Yorick. We'll ditch these. Next round, we're gonna play the Caitlyn. Right now, we're not because we want to we want to keep our our money as high as possible, so that way we can hit. So that way we can hit this Kogma. That Ink Squink looks so good. I really like it. Matt's not a fan because of the flat texturing on the on the white, but I really like it. Look at him go though. Like he just gets like four casts for free. If I get a if I get like a blue buff, I think it's over. Like blue buff gauntlet, blue buff gunblade maybe. He just casts like infinite. Actually no, just just blue buff snipers. <laughs> Then I get, like, Jeweled Lotus. Sounds good to me. Okay. So we could play the Faded route, right? We could play the Faded route. We could go Thresh and then Felios. But he does magic damage, the Kog'Maw. So... Maybe not? Maybe not? I think that, that Malphite's better, but for right now, we, we stick with Thresh of Felios. Just for the moment, because it's not it's not saving me any money to not use them. Alright, so two autos into a cast. And then he just casts infinite, right? Kinda, yeah. I mean, it's pretty darn good. Just not quite where I want it to be yet. 
right, now let's let's see what the what the actual like final comp is. Cho'Gath, Malphite, Caitlyn, Nico. Yeah. All right. So, Caitlyn, Cho'Gath, Malphite. All right. So, what are we looking for? I mean, we could take the spatula. The spatula would be pretty good. Is he gonna take it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, at this point, I guess we just want the Nashers, right? Or do we take Steadfast Heart? I think we take Nashers. Final Comp is a bunch of one costs. It's not quite just that. Those are just the ones that I that I that I put in right now. But it ends up being like Nico, um, Alawi, Nautilus, uh, Lilia, and Huey. That's the final comp. Which, I mean, like, if you can if you can get a mythic emblem, then it's even better. Maybe we don't need the blue buff. Maybe it's actually just, like, Nashers. Maybe it's just Nashers. Then we can ditch these for money. The only thing that really sucks right now is that I don't have Mythic active, so I'm not, I'm not actually like actively getting my uh, my Mythic stacked up. He's not becoming epic. But you see, like by the time he finishes casting, he's just already attacking from from all the way across the board. When Cog casts during Mana Zane, he auto attacks one time between casts. That's pretty sad. I mean, it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. It's fine. Because realistically, like if he if he autos one time, then that gives him ten mana. You know? It's fine. Like this has been a rough early game, but realistically, like when you're not leveling, you kind of expect this. I've only lost six HP too, so it's it, it's fine. This guy's got a sniper's focus on his uh, on his Ari. And besides, like, especially since he has the Nashers, you kind of expect him to have that kind of attack speed, you know? Because then that just makes it so that he he just ramps up very, very easily. Now I'm targeting a dummy. Damn it. Come on. One more. Set. Alright. That's rough. Would blue buff make him cast all the time then? Um, well, so, maybe, but I don't think that blue buff is the most important thing here. That's that's the thing is that like blue buff even though it would be great at like making him cast very often I already have the Nashers which is going to make him cast super often anyway you know the mana zane's there to help him get a whole bunch more um, more range as well so if you end up doing something like this and then you do like sniper's focus I think that sniper's focus would be enough like part of the power of him though is gunblade so I, i'm i'm kind of considering between sniper's focus and and gunblade but i think it's sniper's focus if i can get a good enough frontline there's my nico so we can get we can get mythic going and i don't know what to do with these items at the moment is is the biggest problem cuz i could bloodthirst or my frontline but it's not necessarily something you want to do all right well there's another kogma Let's get Mythic starting. Or I could keep my long shot going. But I mean, I'm two Kog'Maws away, so it just kind of makes sense to keep going for him. Actually, I'm I'm level four. Now's the time. No Kog'Maws? Interesting. Oh, there's my Kog'Maw three. Okay. Cool. Let's sell this for that. Alright, hyper roll it down. That'll just be... It, it'll be enough power to the point where it kind of makes sense. Just because, like, you don't, you don't want to roll outside of level 4. Ended up being... It looked like it, it wasn't going to take that much, but it ended up taking quite a bit. Doesn't seem that good right now, but that's because I don't have snipers active. All 
All right, so Scoreboard Scrapper could be actually pretty okay here. Scoreboard Scrapper seems pretty good. But now I'm actually, I just hit my Power Spike, so probably not. I just hit my Power Spike. Doesn't seem all that great. Yeah, maybe we just go for a support item. Uplink? I mean, it gives him like two seconds between casts. I think that Uplink might be okay. No, I mean, he's going to have enough attack speed to the point where Uplink doesn't really matter. Epic? I could go Epic. We could we could end up hitting um, higher. No, I think we go Support Cash. I think we go Support Cash. We could go Zephyr. We could go ZZ Rot. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with ZZ Rot because I need some frontline. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, it seems pretty good as far as the damage goes, right? Just Kog'Maw reroll. It's the first time I've done Kog'Maw reroll, but it seems, it seems pretty alright. Seems pretty alright. I don't think I'm three-starring my Malphite. It would have been okay, but realistically, I don't. I don't think you need it. I think you need to go for. I think you need to go for uh, higher levels. And like, I know I'm two away from from each of these, but if I find Huey, then I'll just three star them anyway later. You know, like it's not super necessary to three star them right now. There's a Zephyr frontline here. And the great thing about Kogma is that he just continues to target the lowest HP enemy. So, if it ends up being a back... Well, that's not what I expected. I think overall this is still okay, though. Maybe I don't win, but I should at least, like, kill quite a few units. Oh my god, if he could not miss, that'd be great. And then I kill the dummy. All right, how's my long shot doing? 761? Yeah. Two star, two costs. Kinda meh. I mean, is there a Nico? No. No, besides, I, I kind of want frontline units. Frontline, well, not frontline units, frontline items. Go for the cloak. So I can get a declaw going. that on the Cho'Gath. Because realistically, like, honestly, I, I probably shouldn't have put the ZZ Rot on him. Probably should have put it on, like, Nico, Somebody that I wasn't going to itemize all that much. Who did I just lose to? This guy? Yeah. I still think that the positioning that I have is, for the most part, the best. For the most part. I kill the Kale soon. And then, who do we target? Tristana. Okay. Then Teemo. Okay. One unit loss. I mean, honestly, this is kind of what I expected for the moment, because we need... That's why we need the uh, the gunblade on Kogma. Without the gunblade, then I feel like it's it's just significantly worse. Because Kogma does so much damage, but you kind of need to sustain him out. Long shots also not paid out yet. This is kind of what I mean, though, about the the long shot not being super duper useful. Like sniper's focus probably just goes on Caitlyn, and then we put like gunblade on Kogma. Maybe if, like, we could get, like, a Lifeblade. Lifeblade would be huge. 
Alright, who do I have a chance of fighting? This guy? This guy. This guy. Hmm. Lots of two stars. Not really having my three stars here is a little rough. This guy's a cane. And Shogath wounds him, right? That's not enough. Not enough. Death's Defiance Titans is kind of rough. Sheesh. I need some levels. I definitely need some levels. Need to get Ghostly in. Need to get... Need to get more Mythic. That's not bad. Oh, look at that! Three star, t uh, three star cog, uh, not cogma, three star Chogath. That's pretty cool. Maybe we just put like a steadfast heart on him. We just put, ch uh, we just put that on him. How do we, how do we make this better? Do we put the ghostly in, or do we just... I think we honestly might just do this instead. And then we'll do Steadfast Heart here. Especially since he shields, I think that Steadfast Heart's really good. But I think that Gunblade is super necessary here. Not gonna buy the Nico. I don't think I, I really care about 3-starring her. I don't think I really care about 3-starring her. Like, maybe? Not really planning on it, though. Long shots paying out after this. Yeah, I think that it's honestly just a waste. I mean, it's not costing me anything right now, but I don't want to get baited into it. Jeweled Lotus, though. Jeweled Lotus is, is probably where I want to be at. Unless I can get, like, Mythic Crown. If I can get Mythic Crown, then I'll definitely take it. Call to Chaos, not going for it this time. I'm going to go Jeweled Lotus. Jeweled Lotus, because that's going to give him 65% crit. And he can cast. He can uh, crit cast. Yeah, I think that I'm, I think I'm going to put this on Caitlyn. Actually, I understand why this girl is so important. It's because she puts in Ghostly and Arcanist. But if I can get like a, if I can get a rod here. Comet, come here. I don't know why my dog's crying. He a, he a little upset boy right now. Somebody bothered him. Who, who did it? Who bothered you, buddy? Who bothered my buddy? I will show them pain and suffering. Bad to whoever did it, true. True. All right, what we get? Component anvil, player health, or gold? Um, I mean, I'll take the component anvil. I think that that's gonna save me the most, like stress in the long run. And then just give me a, then just give me a, a, a rod here. Yeah. Do I just go GS? Honestly, it it seems pretty okay to go GS here. That way she can start getting through the uh, through the front line. But she already has damage amp with sniper's focus and sniper. 
25% and it also gives her like everything. Yeah, I mean, it, it kind of, it, it seems slammable because realistically, I think what I really want is just like more tank items. I can't really get a mythic emblem at this point, so I kind of need to uh, settle with the five mythic version, which ends up meaning like, what do I drop? Lilia? No, not Lilia. I don't know. Yeah, but like you see this, like this is actually kind of kind of popping off. It's actually kind of popping off at this point. I guess we could take the Nautilus. He'd he'd be the next best uh, mythic to splash in. Well, but I kind of want tank items. Let's just go for. Just go for the. Either that, or I'll get like a like a Morello for my Huey. And then I guess we just throw in Annie for Invoker for right now. That seems pretty okay. Then we get some. We also get some uh, burn from that. We can hold the what's his face items on it, the Nautilus items on her. Or even could just be the Huey item. Could just be the Huey item. Oh right, there's this guy. I completely forgot that there was a Zephyr in the lobby. That's my bad. That might have made me lose this fight. Just because now he's going to get CC'd, have significantly less frontline. If my if my Kogma somehow pulls this out, he's a god. Is he gonna? No, he's not. Yeah, with without the Zephyr there, I actually would have won that. I actually would have won that if I didn't let myself get Zephyr. Any better positioning at the moment? Did I change the tracker or does it change automatically? It changes automatically. It changes automatically. I'm honestly surprised it took this long though. Go Kogma, go. Sheesh. See, now that's how that's supposed to look. It's supposed to be like a board wipe. I didn't even realize that it finally changed. I might have to up the, uh, the... Might have to up the opacity of that. Because that is... Not looking good. It's very hard to see that. But what do we need to do? We need to hit, um, we need to hit nine, right? We need to hit nine in order to play everything that we wanted. We just really want to find a way. We just really want to find a way. We want to know the way. Lee Sin? Probably not. Alright, well there's my Morello. Uh, what is the I think it's I think it's tier. Is the Mythic? Yeah. Okay. Well, I didn't get that. I think I just take the belt. But I'm gonna do Morello on, on her. Morello and then just another belt for the moment. I should have leveled. 
silly me. Morgana's dead, nice. We should start focusing the Azir soon. Maybe. Frontline's a little too low. But you see, like, Kog'Maw actually is, is a pretty good carry. Another one of these? Sure. I guess we could activate Warden. Or we could go with another Caitlyn. I think we just go with another Caitlyn for the moment. I don't think we necessarily need Warden at the moment. Yeah. You just need a good setup for him. Like if if you had blue buff instead of instead of this mana zane, it would be almost just as good. Like Kog'Maw gets way more done early if you have the mana zane, whereas like later you can you can get significantly more. With uh with blue buff. But I think that the that the early work kinda kinda makes up for it. We just gotta hit nine. Two Zephyrs, which vanishes. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh god. Uh, I think they're actually backline Zephyrs, honestly. Just chew through the entire front line first before we even worry about that. Just honestly, I think it's I think they're they're backline zephyrs. Yeah, honestly, looks like backline zephyrs to me. Seems like that's the best positioning, though, for it. Gotta hit nine, gotta hit my Hui. If I can hit my Hui, then I can get a three-star Caitlyn here pretty soon. He just uh, Zephyred my Caitlyn, which is kind of what I expected. Cool. Yone might go on my... yeah, my Caitlyn. Alright, which means that my Kog'Maw is safe. Cool. Very, very nice. No Mythic, right? Mythic would have been so good here. Would have been so good. Uh, we could go, like, uh... I think, I, I think that Warmogs is probably the best, but I can go Sterix. Sterix is an okay tank item. Even Shroud isn't very good here. Realistically, you don't you don't need the you don't need the Sunder with this. Caitlyn does enough damage with her um, with her ability. He's gonna want tank. Oh, okay. No way needed. Absolutely no way. So let's take out this Caitlyn so that her items don't pop off weird, all weirdly. And then we will put in the Lilia. We'll get Invoker 3 for the moment. Then we can just do Sterix on her. Yeah, realistically, I probably should have put it on... Eh, that's That was probably the best placement. Yeah. So he has less time to amp as well. That Galio just ate the, uh... The Caitlyn ult. Nice, nice, nice. Goodbye. Alright, yeah, I mean, at this point, it's like, it's just, it's just level and roll for Huey, right? So I can keep my streak going. Or him. Yeah, honestly. 
I don't even need to roll anymore at the moment. Five mythic is is a big upgrade to my to my Cogma. Big big upgrade to my Cogma. All right, he did not focus my Cogma, right? No, he did not. Good. I did focus the Aurelia, though, which is really good for me. Nice one. Who are we going to focus now? Zyra, all right. Cool. Now we're on the back line. Good, good, good. Nice. Six streak into, uh, into Dragon is great. That's, that means things are going super duper well. Um, now, realistically, if I can hit 10, I could put in 7 Mythic that way. But I would need to hit 10 in order to do it. Which means I can't roll for Huey. Because I would take out the Annie and I would put in the Tom Kench. And then that's how I would get it. Which is kind of what you need to do here. You know? Kind of what you need to do here. Oh, neat. Let's just hit the money. There's way. Alright, so... Honestly, I think that it still is do this. Just put in the way. Get like a... An adaptive is probably better for him than blue buff, honestly. I think adaptive is better. We give him Morello. We do... Sterix on him. And then just a random belt. Then we'll do something like this. Seven mythic at level ten? Yeah. Yeah, seven mythic. He doesn't need more more mana. He already has enough mana. He needs more damage. Then the Huey with his huge burst. Pog Terra stream? Yeah, short stream. I'm only going to have one more game after this. Murder that dude. Oh, wait. Let's dupe the Nico. But yeah. Planning on going... Planning on going 10 here. We'll put in the Tom Kench at that point. We'll get 7 Mythic. That'll be... Uh, that'll be like a 20% buff to his, to his damage. Not 20% like overall, but... You know, twenty percent to his to his AD and AP. Um, I just fought this guy, right? I think that it went well. I think it went well. Then everybody gets anti heal. Good. Honestly, like, I vastly underestimated this comp. This comp is really good. Because imagine when I end up actually hitting 7 Mythic. Like, the Caitlyn is actually <laughs> holding her own right now in the late game, which is not something you would expect. Alright, one more round and then I'll, then I'll hit. One more round and then I hit. We're also four rounds off of our Nico three. Honestly, is it ever just push for it now, just in case? I just fought this guy, right? I did, but he just upgraded to his Azir, to his Azir two. So, yeah, I don't think I'm actually hitting three star Alawi. Go seven mythic. All right. Am I for the first time ever good? True. You like the, the, the good command? I think that's the first time anybody's used it. No mythics. There's a gunblade though. I could put that on Huey. Or honestly, I could put it on Caitlyn. Mm. 
Oh, actually, I don't have any shred. I don't have any shred. Imagine that. Uh, two star the Lilia. Mid? <laughs> Alright, who ends up surviving a good amount? Nico blocks a good amount, but I think that, I think it's this guy that ends up, you know, for the most part doing pretty well here. Alright, let's watch this guy to make sure he doesn't just randomly... Let's do this, just in case. I should have actually two-starred my Lilia. He didn't move his thing. Interesting. Come on, Kog'Maw. Do the thing! Do the thing! Do the thing! Just breathe on her once! Brah! <laughs> nice. Alright, no way. No way. This is the last fight. Honestly, do I roll for Huey just because it's the last fight? No, I don't, because if I end up if, if I end up needing him, then it'd be better to, to not. No way! There was no way. Okay. Nice way cast. Nice way cast. Cool. Is this a first? I think it's a first, y'all. Oh, wait. Wait a sec. Wait a sec, Hoi casts, and now it's a first. GG. Wait. Oh my god. That Orn. Let me get my first, damn it. GG. Alright, those of you watching on YouTube, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, follow my Twitch for more, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.